Okay, real quick, I think we're on the right track with this, and I'll show you why. I gotta got do this slow because these drills like to stop and start fast. Wobbles a little bit, just depends on how I got the axle. So that axle's a little bit off, Whew. which is fine because it's not the final drive motor. So I was worried about drills aren't really reliable when it comes to this kind of thing, but it'll get out all the stuff that I need. And it's uh, really easy to turn. So once I get the drive motor hooked up, then you can see it's going to give me four to one pretty easy. So I think we're on the right track with this one. So that, I can't wait for that motor to arrive because we're talking about uh, 190 kV, 48 volt. So yeah, I might do a nylon carrier too, just to be on the safe side. So as you can see, the nylon does really, really well. So I think what I'm gonna do is do the carrier in the same and then try to do this outer ring later on in the same if it tears it up. I just really wanna see how long that sun gear is gonna last <laughs> under all that torque. But it looks like it's doing pretty good. I mean, with a drill, it was push, pushing some air. So let, we'll, uh, I can't wait for that motor. We're gonna give that a shot. And then, you know, I've run these bearings and stuff in these shafts, these screws that I use for a, a couple different runs and a couple different failures. So I may rebuild these at one point with the bearings um, and, the and the nylon six. So nylon six, the whole thing <laughs> after this next test. And then um, we'll see uh, how long that lasts as opposed to getting it printed in metal. If it's if it If it fares well, then we have our answer, but ultimately I think I'm still going to go with metal, but I do want to see how far I can push this nylon six. So I can't wait for that.